For years I talked literature on my channel, on my Instagram, trying to get people to read the classics. I am a reader of classics. Zola, Balzac, Hemingway, Steinbeck. I even made a video on why I think Of Might and Men is the perfect novel. Well, today is the day. Today we rejoice. Why is this a big deal? Why is this so good? I could rant about why reading the classics is good for your brain till the cows... the cows... What do you Americans say? Oh well. 100 Years of Solitude is a masterpiece. Gabriel Garcia Marquez won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1982 mainly because of this book. It narrates the rise and fall of the Buendia family across seven generations in the fictional town of Macondo, blending magical realism with historical and social themes. The story begins with José Arcadio Buendia, the family patriarch, and his wife Ursula, who found Macondo in pursuit of an utopian dream. The Buendia family is marked by a cycle of passion, ambition and misfortune. Each generation grapples with love, war and destiny, reflecting the struggles of Latin America, including political conflict, colonialism and modernization. Key figures include uh, Colonel Aureliano Buendia, a revolutionary hero who becomes disillusioned with war, and Amaranta, consumed by unrequited love and jealousy. The family repeatedly faces themes of solitude and an inability to escape their doomed fate. Despite this, believe it or not, it is a pretty light-hearted novel. Well, maybe not light-hearted, but uplifting, erotic at times, and full of magic. Magical elements pervade the story such as uh, flying carpets, alchemy, and the rain that lasts for years, interwining with the everyday reality. The Buendia legacy culminates with Aureliano, the last descendant, who deciphers an ancient prophecy predicting the family's demise. And the ending is perfect. It's just, just perfect, really. Through its vivid storytelling, 100 Years of Solitude explores themes of love, memory, and the inevitability of history, creating a timeless allegory of human existence. Gabriel Garcia Marquez's masterpiece remains a cornerstone of Latin American literature to this very day. Now, I know the Netflix adaptation would not probably a one-on-one -on -one adaptation of the source material, but I can't wait to find out what they left out and what stayed in the final product. No more huge tattooed gypsy dongs, I guess. I dare you to put that in Netflix. I dare you. <laughs> nah, that's probably gonna get cut. Indeed, it's a moment to remember. Netflix has started to pay attention to the classics, and I'm here for it. So why you should watch it? There are several reasons, in fact. The production, first and foremost. Directed by Laura Mora and Alex Garcia Lopez, 100 Years of Solitude is one of the most ambitious productions in Latin America to date. It's filmed entirely in Spanish and shot in Colombia, with a cast of solid and known actors. Also, it has the support of uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez's family, a fact that uh, makes me hopeful in regard of the faithfulness to the source material. Then, the source material itself. We have a Nobel winning novel as a script, and as mentioned, it can mean nothing but good things for this adaptation. Last, but not least, we came back to the original topic. The simple fact that uh, it's a series based uh, on a classic means two things. First, it's an occasion to break free from the usual Netflix production of the past few years, full of cliches, stereotypes, 
entire postmodern plot. Second, it's an occasion to experience something old, that is actually something new for Netflix, with anything that comes with it. More interesting themes, characters, symbolism, and overall a better story to be told. There is a reason why the classics are called classics. Because they are so good, they set standards for the centuries to follow. This series, even if maybe it will not live up to my expectation, it would surely be, at the very least, interesting. Would you watch uh, the series on Netflix? Let me know in the comments and check out my other videos. I talk books and movies and uh, all the other things I like. I'm also promoting my first book uh, in the US, so maybe yeah, check the link in the description. Till next time, take care.